though this house will have a state-of-the-art geothermal system, we are still using conventional ductwork. And that means big metal ducts wrapped in insulation running all throughout the attic and then down into individual rooms. And those systems are notoriously leaky. So today, we're going to use some new technology to dramatically improve the efficiency of this ductwork. Jim Mollison is our HVAC contractor on this job. Jim, good to see you. Good to see you, Kevin. Why are these systems so leaky? I mean, why is this such a big problem? Well, the typical system goes together metal on metal. Right. This ductwork snap locks together. You can see through the seam. When we put the ductwork together, you get a seam here that's metal on metal, and the air leaks through. Yeah. And then we get all these seams here where the, sh where the metal swivels. Right. The air leaks out of that as well. I mean, metal on metal is never a good connection. And we know that for many years, decades, this is how people installed systems. But today, I mean, we can do a lot better, right? I mean, especially when we're in virtually new construction. I mean, we can paint these seams with mastic. We can tape them. And that gives us a good seal. That's correct. We can do it that way. But through insulating it through the inside, it allows me to put the equipment in place, put all the ductwork in place, insulate it, get all the runs done, and then I can seal it after it's all done. So if you sealed this the conventional way with tape or mastic, how long for your guys to do that? A house like this would take me a day each system. And then the alternative, how long? 45 minutes each system. Oh, <laughs> so what is your system? My system uses a liquid chemical, the same chemical makeup as chewing gum. It uses a fan and compressed air to turn the liquid into an aerosol. We blow it through this duct and into the system. And so from the inside, as you try to blow this through there, as it tries to get out, it just locks onto all those leaks. It sticks to itself and plugs up all the holes. Awesome. All right. So um, since this is unsealed, can we run a baseline to see how leaky it is? That's what I was getting ready to do. The test will take about three minutes. Okay. We'll start it right here. Turn on the fan. Now we're going to pressurize the system to see how much is leaking. So what are the two dials that we're looking at? The dial on the left is telling me, based on the pressure that's in the system, how many CFM, cubic feet a minute of air, is leaking out of the system. And am I reading that correctly that it's right around 30 CFM? Yes, that's correct. All right, and then this dial? The dial on the right converts that CFM measurement into something you can visualize. So this is leaking about the size of a credit card. So what is that, about six square inches? About six square inches. And uh, you can improve on that? We can definitely improve on that. Let's plug up all these holes. All right. In a minute, you'll hear the mist start coming through the system. So Kevin, what I've done is I've cut a hole in the ductwork yeah. for a demonstration for you. I plugged it up with the screen, so it's going to act like all the leaks that are in the system, mm -hmm. and we're going to be able to watch it plug up. So as the aerosol is forced out through that screen, it's going to slowly grab on each one of those little openings and then close itself up? Like it was metal. In its entirety? In its entirety. Wow. And so how long until you seal the whole system? I think about half an hour. Cool. All right, fan shutting down. How would we do here? Zeros down the board. We got duct leakage of zero square inches, zero CFM, zero percentage of air leakage. Wow, unbelievable. So that is a very efficient system. Not only is it efficient, but now we're not sucking in any air from the attic, any air from the basement when the system's on. We've got great indoor air quality. OK. So that must mean that we actually have sealed up our screen? 100%. Let's see. Thank you, Jeff. Look at that, so just a solid seal all the way through. That is awesome. Nothing better than 0% leakage, right? Doesn't get better than that. All right, thank you, Jim, very much. All right, well, next time, we are going to be down in the basement installing the heart of our geothermal system. So until then, I'm Kevin O'Connor for This Old House.